A grave injustice has been perpetrated against all of the people in the world, for I have forgotten for more than a month to do my unban requests. Good, law-abiding, fruitful, productive members of the community have been willfully ignored after they have been brutally and cruelly banned for no reason at all than that they just shared their very timid and reasonable opinion. Today, I will try to start repairing my reputation, and you can consider this a kind of apology video as well, as I go through the unbanned requests for the first time in over a month for my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash grubby, and I will try to right the wrongs that have been perpetrated against the people. But I do not expect forgiveness. It will be up to you to decide if you end up forgiving me and letting me into your heart again and putting me back on your follow list. So let's begin. 9th of July by Excalibur Z. I give this guy a 10 out of 10 on the moderator tier list. I should do a mod tier list sometime soon. There's no way that's going to backfire. Yeah, let's let's rank all of them. In efficiency, ban per, per day ratio, friendliness, willingness to answer questions, and most of all, activity. For God forbid that they have an off day. You know, for the copious amounts that they're being paid in exposure. So far, we see Excess really likes milliliters and pay poops, which I think is reasonable. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I was spamming. This happened while I was sleeping. Mods. <laughs> Use your brain. I'm not beginning for unban. If no unban, then F you. Check the rest of my logs. <laughs> Did you? The last normal comment this chat has posted was in 2019. <laughs> It's a good start. It's a good start. Oh god. Wow. <laughs> that's great. No, that's that's great. 2019, okay. Um yeah. Alright. But it's his first band, so let's just fir let's first of all have a moment of celebration here. This guy woke up from a hibernation of four years. He doesn't know what he's done, or more mysteriously so, what has been done to him while he was in coma for four years. But I'm so happy he woke up, and I think he should go less than live three, his less life. Less than three for the one and only, the grubby ye less than three less than three, you little sweetheart less than three less than three. We have 54 bans. Mods, get him. 63 <laughs> months of not getting banned and still being subbed longer than this one. <laughs> No, just kidding. Thanks, Milky Sign, Arthinox. Uh, so yeah, this is his attempt to reintegrate into society. And I would like to... Ah... But that's the problem. We don't have a brain. No, I was going to unban him, but uh, we don't have a brain. And he also said F you. So we're going to deny that one. I'm very glad you woke up from your four-year coma. And that the spamming involuntary contractions have ended. DM me if you are more contrite than now able to j just say F you. Have a great waking life. I think that's reasonable. Brutaloid007. Account created during my Dota 2 journey. Banned 12th July. Let's, uh, let's begin. We need context. You gave bad stats against Undead. Go Sniper... Against Undying. Go Sniper or Clink's next game? Obladi Oblada. What a gay story. Is there an item which with it you can use two times ulti? Is it Reforged? Is it stars? Star Wars Reforged? Easy game. I love Shaman and Doc in Orc Race. 4 9 in French. AI is better. Oh yeah, yeah. 80. This 90, that's how to say 90 in French. They're basically saying 4 times 20 plus 10 without doing the addition, without having the calculus symbols. So 90, it's a very strange way to say 90. It's like saying 4, 20, 10. Yeah. AI is better to kill first. We're so far from 2000 AI. 
we are so far from 2000 AI than 2046 AI. That's kind of scary. Yeah, it's true. In July, we are closer to the year 2046 than the year 2000. And it is scary when you go over halfway of a 46 year journey. I think that's scary too. Like, let's say if I'm destined to become only 46 years old and I'm 37 right now, I know it seems hard to believe, hopefully, then I'm also over halfway and that's quite scary. But if I am headed towards 47, no, 74, then I'm halfway, which is not scary, but tomorrow it will be. Free XP. Where our hero's main lane? Need second hero. Crazy game, Moon Soin. Putch is Miss Netherlands. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's not true. He, she was quite tall. And Patch is not. MMR progression by Grub. What about Miss Netherlands? She looks like Grunts. Yeah. Yeah. As I know that you are the most respected of Orc players, I apologize for having offended the entire Orc community. In particular, the Grunts. In this way, by making risky aesthetic comparisons against them. All of my apologies. <laughs> I'm gonna unban him for making us laugh. Alright. Next one. Swagalina. Banned by myself. For the first time after two timeouts. This all seems fine. <laughs> okay. I, I kind of remember this. I, I think I lost the game. Or something and then i said my ally range dps are not doing their job i keep getting stuck on bruisers time to play range dps and carry and then he said dunning kruger moment it was a good natured joke and i don't understand why grubby or amat took so much offense to it please let me know your thoughts or update your rules if such jokes are off limits grubby used to be much more playful and ready to laugh on his streams i don't know what happened yeah this this used to be the, the summit of comedy and then I started Dota 2 and now it's not funny anymore. I think I remember this guy is like generally kind of argumentative and trollish. I wouldn't say that that comment was enough. Woman moment. Mostly this seems kind of fine. I guess I'll unban. But no reason. I mean, I don't know if whether woman moment was another one of his amazing jokes. Maybe maybe a big timeout. Okay, let's see. Next one. Young D13 Baby. I don't know why I feel like this is a rapper name. Is this guy a rapper? Lotus is good. Why won't Grubby believe Gyro won't scale? 1.5k just to get destroyed in a few hits. Lamau, ha 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 ha. Archon 1, Crusader 4, Archon 3, Immortal, Divine Immortal. Grubby should try Geoguessr, Legend, Gorge Lamau. This is Gorge, guess the player. GG, report SF. So noob, lol. Isn't it just one negative comment, lol? <laughs> it's just one. Yeah, I guess it is. Maybe it just takes one. No reason for ban. Just one negative comment. <laughs> Wait, he said gay? Where? Lamau gay. <laughs> Clueless. Keep buying five. Keep buying Potas five. Lamal. Haha. <laughs> I'm really freaking out. Should go boots first so you can get free heal from Tranquil. Lamal gay. Haha. <laughs> reported what? Hey, he's back backseating. He was having a good time. So noob lol. Uh, yeah. It was. One. Pretty negative comment, which should be okay, I guess. Lamau. Okay, let's go next. Two months ago. Thanks for the stream, Grubby. Foregone destruction for stream end. Lich got first blood. Happy goes undead. Thanks for the stream. Russian dude called you Russophobic. Why are other people so toxic? Give him a second chance. Oh, that's ironic. He's, he needs the second chance now. I wish I could get banned so I can secretly send Granny a love letter in the unban request. 
<laughs> oh shit. 31 May. <laughs> Two months ago, he sent it. <laughs> That's, um. <laughs> He's metagaming. Shit. Yeah, I remember this one. That's how long it's been. I guess it's been two and a half months. Mail takes a long time to arrive. Shit. <laughs> deny. Deny without reading. Let's just deny it. No reading. Huh? Wait, I'll play him. I'll play it. Thanks for the years of quality content, says Ghost Zabir. And just for everything you do through your streams and YouTube videos, I've managed to learn a lot of useful knowledge that helped me in Warcraft 3, Hots, and even Dota 2. I still remember time when you were playing Dota 2 for the first time and how you were learning everything. It was fascinating and inspiring to watch. With all that you brought me confidence, with all that, you brought me confidence and made me look forward to learn new playstyles in every game I play. Thank you. <laughs> Did we do that? Thank you very much. A shining lighthouse moment of a comment in a sea of desperation and desolation. Also, sorry for two and a half months reaction time. Still not my worst reaction time. I've had worse. It's been a while. Can I get an unbound, please? Yeah. All right, let's see. <laughs> okay. All right. We went with the 10 timeout and then the double time ban. Uh, this looks like Mario. Wait, I have to paste this to see what it becomes. Nothing. Nothing much. It looks like Mario, but when I pasted it, it didn't work. Sorry for posting one past. Uh... Yeah. Can I? Can we? Uh... I don't think this is a ban worthy. Worked for me? Oh. I think this is not a ban. One copy pasta, no banarino. Sorry, not ban worthy. Will improve processes. I think sometimes when it's one copy pasta. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> These people are only have all been infected and now. Alright, alright, cool. Okay. <laughs> We're good. I think Night Sanctorum, they got it out of their system. Let's see. James Bowie. 25. Oh my god, four years ago. I don't understand why I'm banned. Neither do I. Sorry and welcome back. Uh, by now, inactive moderator. But thank you for your service. I thank you, chat, for illustrating why even one ba one copy pasta sometimes needs to get a 10 minute timeout because the virus spreads. Hey, man, thanks for unbanning. I, uh, I, I banned you. Oh, wait, you were the Mario guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching right now. Were you watching with bated breath? Damn. Mario is a fast character. Sorry, Velu. That was totally unfair two month purgatory. It's a me, a Mario. <laughs> All right, let's see. Based, 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 massive Pytus, Ligma, his stupid big ass is deceiving. This might be about Pudge, not me. Ah. So the try hard yoink in this context, you pick back it's ain't got me banned. I'll be careful from now. Suggestion if try hard got me banned, you should ban the emote from sending into chat in the first place, like some channels. This is actually an interesting, this is an interesting discussion topic. Perhaps I can use logic to illustrate why banning a black person, a black creator's face, because it gets misused to, sh to equate black people as thieves why that is a problem imagine if i'm black and i have a global twitch emote and people constantly use my face in context of 
And I'm gonna just limit it to the one stereotype of stealing, because there's others that are equally racist, right? Every time something gets stolen, my face gets posted. And then I shoot not the user, but the creator. You remove my face, even though it's not my fault, and it is so unfair that that's even being done to me, right? Because this is a real person. It's not just an emoji, right? Why would his face need to be removed? It is so racist that it's happening to him. If something gets stolen, must be. So yeah, yoink is fine. Try hard is fine. Try hard yoink together is insinuating that this black person stole something, even though my in-game character wasn't black. And of course, if you have a larger, let's say there is a larger body person or NPC on screen and you use a larger body emote and say looks alike. I think that's fine. If you have a skeleton on screen in a game and you use a skull emoji, I think that's fine. I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think if there's someone that seems to somewhat embody uh, American Southern culture and you put Kona, I think that's fine. It's relatively well natured, all of it. It's when you start equating crimes to certain looks of people, that's where it becomes a problem. And anyway, he understood the context he used it in. So I am gonna, I'm gonna DM me if you still don't get it. I reviewed it 49 minutes into my stream 14 August. I don't mind explaining it to him. But if he doesn't get it yet, I don't think I want to see his comments again. But I'm willing to start a conversation with him if he hasn't seen this video. So denied for now. This all looks fine. Punch is bad is actually something I encourage. Uh, what a play from Clinks, Lotus, Nick Scan Farm. Don't you speak it before now. Dude, stop saying shit. <laughs> I think I remember my reaction. When someone says that, stop say shit, then usually I'm like, no, you stop say shit. Bam, bam. Which is a little bit of an emotional reaction, I suppose. I didn't choose my words wisely. Not my style to be toxic and aggressive. I'm gonna unban. It wasn't that bad. I just happened to have the ban power. So I was like, no, you shut up, Lomau. This is, this is the problem if you hide your ban button next to your bedside. Once tempers are rising or you get surprised, you could suddenly grab the, the ban button and do something you will later regret. You know what I mean? Whereas if you had to actually throw someone out of your house physically, you would think about it more first. Next. Guys, follow my Twitch channel. <laughs> is it that big problem when I ask people nicely to follow my Chanel? Garby is not gonna lose nothing. So much for community. Well, it does say no advertising, quite well known across all Twitch channels and commonsensical as well. Off to a bad start if that's how you start. Anyway, good luck with your streaming. I mean, I don't mind competition and whatnot. We just don't do advertising. Also, I don't know if he's part of my community because it's the only thing he ever said. Wouldn't call him part of the community, really. I mean, I guess you can be as a lurker. Not a productive member of the community. He was such a big part of it with one comment. I think some people can feel like they're part of the community even never having said anything, which is fine. But, you know, <laughs> if he had nine other comments of contribution. Already missing that guy? <laughs> Ask Slacks for coaching, he's best wind ranger. Ha ha ha, let him talk for the chat, you're trolling so hard. Seriously, you banned me when he was trolling by chasing support with million CC and laughing at it. It's just so funny that you took that as offensive when even Grubby was laughing at it. I may have to like go into this stream. I have to find the game and find where this happened, but that's too much effort. So I have to make a 
mildly uninformed decision. Too much effort, just unban. Okay, unban no message. Because all right, feels deep. I love how punchable yet likable Grubby's face. <laughs> <laughs> is it can i ask you guys honestly do i have a punchable face <laughs> really why a bit yes why no yes somewhat very slightly what does it take for you to want to punch someone in the face just a typical netherlands face oh yeah yeah i do have a bit of that don't i the netherlands face thing the smile on the nose Right, would you like punch me on the smile or on the nose if you had to choose? No consequences. Too attractive, too handsome. Oh yeah. Your teeth. <laughs> oh, good one. I could see that. Restructure them a bit. <laughs> Why not both? Right on the kiss here. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I have conferred with my confidants and have found your joke to be not entirely inaccurate though please do not follow up on this joke with method acting all right that seems okay he also said i had a likable face so there is a, a redemption arc here imagine watching grubby because he plays dota 2 imagine having to know how to spell Oh, now, I'm, now I have to extra scrutinize the rest of it. We can forgive the missing U in mold because that's Americans don't know any better. They don't follow the British English. It's saying, ooh, is that spelling or grammar? The missing apostrophe, possessive it's saying you can't make money off discussing it. Oh no, that's two already in one. Imagine knowing how to spell. Well, he can only imagine it because he can't actually spell it. So it, he didn't claim that he knows how to spell. Off is correct. Oh, yeah, that's true, actually. <laughs> it, it is correct. It is correct. Yeah. Uh, what are benefits of partnership? Happy to start exploring other pro Now, I, Now I'm under fire for my spelling. Yeah. They changed it so that even non-affiliates and non-partners can simultaneously stream. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why do your mods place... Oh, Grubby, why do you play so much Warcraft and never Dota? Grubby, do your mods hate Warcraft 3? Uh, I guess some mods were tired of Dota frogs. Because I have so many Dota viewers. Imagine watching me for Dota. And uh, they're quite a greedy bunch. In, in terms of wanting to see Dota. Which is totally understandable. Because it's an awesome game. And I'm greedy for wanting to play Dota too. So I totally get it. And uh, I think some people are... like. This is an OG mod and an OG viewer. That means he likes Warcraft. And he's sick of people coming in being like, Dota, 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 Dota. Why, why Warcraft, Dota, Dota, Dota. But he didn't do anything. Not for a ban, for sure. Um, misfire due to some thing not related to you, I would say. That's the easiest way to say it. Because the funny thing is, Many people may lose patience if the same thing gets said a hundred times in a row and it wasn't bad to begin with, but the hundredth time you just lost your patience and then you shoot the hundredth guy and they, it wasn't their fault. It's your own fault for not conditioning your own patience and tolerance levels. But uh, then they get made an example out of even though they don't deserve it. Oh, this guy. <laughs> you, remember, you remember him? Okay, let's see. Yeah, he didn't deserve to be in the fridge over it, Stixu. Right, okay. Okay, so he wanted to activate our chat to ban an account that he found was cheating. In order to make Dota better, we all had to go mass report him together. Grubby start to be toxic. Now you don't look so happy as when you played in Four Kings. Which is obnoxious. I am uh, actually happier now. Grubby can you can send you link to see how people cheat and make immortal more to account and again and again in the same minute and again next minute. Only timeout. What happened with Dota? Why are you back to Warcraft 3? Because you are bad in Dota? It's another one of those funny jokes. 
just meant to make the world a better place. This old game is so stupid to come play in 21 centere. Use your brain. For a me report to grabby ruin game. For me, report grubby. Ruin game and feed. Ruin game and feed. Unless you are with your items. Late game. 60 minute Midas. Ban this account. You have to get Guardian. You ruin game, no tank, no plus three. Your items are so bad. Report because try and make Dota be better place for play, really? <laughs> 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 We make better place for grubby chat. Next, code. Banned by Excalibur, suspicious user, ban evasion. You won't go any farther because you're a sensitive dog who can't take any comments and calling yourself streamer. Stick to playing your low skilled game. Maybe you should learn how to make comments instead of watching BSJ videos, dumb stoic. <laughs> wow, there's so much to unpack here, but I think I'm not gonna unpack it. I think I will throw it into the trash, unwrapped, not unwrapped, fully wrapped still. Stop being a stoic, dumb. Learn to make comments. Stop watching BSJ. Call yourself a streamer. Play low skilled games. I've never seen dumb stoic as an insult. You dumb reasonable stoic. I bet when danger breaks out, you're gonna do the right thing. Oh, I bet you love staying calm when someone falls overboard in the sailing boat. I bet you're gonna turn about the mast, warn everyone that the mast is coming overhead in a calm and authoritative voice turn the boat around, throw the life vessel, and then fish them out of the water, warm them up with a towel and give them some hot cocoa. And when they say, I'm so stupid, I ruined the day out, you say, that's okay. Life is made of challenges. It's persevering them and living through them together. That's what matters. It wasn't your fault to fall overboard. It just proves that our bonds are strong and we come back and we always help each other. I had a great time today anyway. Even though we didn't end up going to that picturesque city. Let's turn back and read a book in front of the fire at night. Oh, but I ruined our vacation. Nonsense. I'm happy to just be with you. You dumb stoic. You should be like, Man overboard! Run for your miserable lives! Put a match in the boat, jump overboard, start swimming into the ocean deep. It's like... Like, help, help, I don't know what to do. I'm so tired of dumb stoics. <laughs> Denied. I, th I do think sensitive dog is a compliment. You're the man of the month, strategy gamer. Nice throw by Grubbo. Grubbo threw. Go Invoker Grubo, Invoker Mid, Dro. Exactly, Lamau. Netherlands is some happy place. I'm from Alaska. Ah, nice. Garbage of the Storm. Why are you playing a dead game? I don't see any reason at all to get muted. And if you're being honest, do you? What's your favorite movie? Memento. Say we're watching Memento together. We get to the part where they're running alongside each other. He suddenly regains his short-term memory. He says, what's going on? Oh, I'm chasing this guy. Guy shoots at him, narrowly misses him. Pew! Oh no, he's chasing me. Iconic moment of the film, yeah? What happened to his wife and all that? We're watching it together and I'm like, oh nice, garbage mento. Terrible actor, terrible movie. It's horrible. Why are you watching a shit movie? Anyway, go on. Shit movie, dead movie, stupid actor. Hey, why are you going away? Why you never come visit anymore? I don't see any reason at all for you to leave my house, do you? Let's watch this shit movie together. Because guess what? You don't need to be here to share your opinion. Which game did he mean? Uh, well, I, it's well hidden, it's true. It's actually called Heroes of the Storm, not Garbage of the Storm. It wasn't like that? You mean this one wasn't like that? It's- oh wait, this is just two comments. 
It's funny? <laughs> is, it, is it funny? You think it's funny? But you don't like it. This is shitting on other people's hobbies. Of course, it doesn't make me insecure to play it. Like, if I said Dota is a shit game, right? Why are you playing a dead game? Are you gonna stop playing it? No, of course not. But uh, it's just a bit rude. It's just a bit rude. It's not any kind of major catastrophe. Birds are gonna keep singing. Sun is gonna keep shining, right? Rain is gonna keep falling. Every 24 hours, a day will pass by, you know, the sun cycle. But it's just a bit obnoxious, that's all. We're trying to enjoy a good time and someone comes in and says it's shit. Come on, people, you're too serious. Okay, but if we take that argument, then I can say you're being too serious for mining that you got banned. If nothing is serious, then neither is a ban. Why do you want to come back and chat? Don't be too serious. Just go out there and enjoy your life. Do you know what I mean? This argument can be used on anything. Next, Grubby, what do you do for a living? Are you that rich to play games 24-7? Streaming only is it enough to run a living. Totally fine. Buy a wand, she's doing perfect. She tried to kill Timber 3 before reactive armor. Razor without boots. Satanic is not worth it against AA. Lincoln much better. Buy Lincolns or lose. Grubby, you know nothing about the game. So sad. Well, this was uh, 13 March. Most of this actually seems reasonable within the context of strategy. <laughs> it's so sad. This is just a typical Dota frog. There's nothing... There's nothing special about this one. I don't know. He legit doesn't know. This is average Dota backseat, backseating. He's... Of course, 99% of Dota streamers, they're gonna be totally fine with this. And... I'm kind of fine with it as well, actually. This is just a case of a good guy mod trying to protect me from uh, flame messages that would in the long run not in march yet but in the long run become a bit tilting and in fact it makes you less likely to want to play dota when chat's always being a bit of a burk so they get rid of it but it isn't that bad yeah he's so used to talking shit to streamers he's puzzled that there's someone that doesn't stand for it because logically i look back at like the most popular warcraft 3 forums back in the day sk gaming also happen to be the biggest cesspool of toxicity. Always looking to pick fights with pro gamers. Used to be people went on SK and they actually discussed strategies and tournaments. But all the trolls that were so pervasive that never got banned. They started challenging all the pros on little micro stuff. That the discussion got so derailed that all meaningful discussion stopped on SK. And SK became known as a toxic forum. And therefore no pros wanted to go there anymore. Team Liquid. Team Liquid.net still has respect among each other. Not just for pros, but for each other. So you can go to Team Liquid.net and discuss StarCraft 1. And they try to look out for that people speak to each other relatively respectfully. You don't have to speak like everyone is royalty. But that is why meaningful discussion continues even to this day on Team Liquid. And that's why it did not continue on SK forums. So. Why did SK not ban trolls? There were people, let me show you an example. There were people that said they are part of the Yo family. <laughs> Some old, old OGs will remember this. Yo family. They would write things like Yo family in my heart. And then they shortened it to Yofa. They always en ended their conversation with Yofa in my heart. It was like this intentional nerdy cringe sign off signature. And they would always start fighting with pros about this and that. They would try to instigate drama. And because I was 18, I fight back with them or try to defend myself, try to reason with them. But it was never their intent. Basically, the whole point of being a troll is to waste everyone's time, right? So if you allow bad contributions to continue, it will lessen the good ones. Because people that want to have good talks, they ain't got no time to mess with the mud. I do know. I don't know what to tell him even. It's a vibe thing. But welcome back. Like it, it's so gray. It's it's a vibe thing. 
Zark Zark, bring back offlane Razor. Hello, buddy. Thanks for your work. Can you play Zerg? You could be fun position three. You went for the boring position one. I mean, maybe you like the boring plus one. You like vanilla. You like potato steak. You're a simple man. What can we do? Nothing. It doesn't matter. You don't really matter in this world, probably. Well, he matters to someone. He matters to me. Yeah, the last line ruined it. He self-reported. He's showing us a little bit of his philosophy. And in a way, nothing really matters. You know, does the sun care about what's happening on the earth? Do aliens care about what's happening to us? You know, it, it's kind of like this true and real. Some may call it nihilistic. Some may call it true and real, right? Nothing really matters. But then things do matter to us. We give our own meaning of life. And for me, meaning of life is playing games, having fun and sharing good experiences with other people. That's it. That's about it. That's what my meaning of life is. It's it's all subjective. What matters? 8-bit daily matters to me. Definitely more than mindly. I understand my sense of humor is not shared. I feel like it's not a sense of humor. I feel like it's more. This was not a joke. Let's be real. A lot of people say jokes, sense of humor. They're shielding something else. That is not the case. They're shielding something else that's... Uh, and it's not about a joke. I think he showed his life philosophy, which is fine. Saying to people, you don't really matter. is also not illegal. But I can see how he would find it a bit annoying. And I must say, I remember Mindlich to be annoying before. I would have banned him for almost nothing. Mod comments. My guess, and I hope I'm not slandering mindly here. My guess is he's a troll and he's always trying to skirt the edge of what's allowed. That is my feeling about him. I don't always remember everyone's na uh, the name of their dog. I don't always remember everyone's job, even if they've shared it before. But you, as a streamer, you get like a feeling about your viewers like kind of what they're like which of course can still change over time everything shapes character development my feeling was that he was a bit of a troll what's your feeling about me well i remember you liked the unban request bully dan you said that at the beginning of this stream <laughs> i don't see you a lot in my usual games but when i do you unusual content i often see you there that's my feeling there <laughs> Yeah, you don't remember what people do, per se. Oh, you were Potom Hans. See? Oh, well, then you're a big Warcraft viewer. I remember that. Yeah, name changing really messes with the streamer's feelings. I will not chat after unban. I want to keep watching. Uh, I'm just going to unban. Try not saying people they don't matter. Try not saying to people they don't matter. Even if it's your philosophy and universally perhaps true, it's a bit rude. I think it's a bit rude. I've heard Asmogold say it to his whole community and to himself. You don't matter, I don't matter, we don't matter. In that case, it wasn't personal. Plus, you can't ban the streamer. And it is a philosophy that you can have. Oh yeah, during Gay Pride Month, which is not something that I uh, necessarily have any affiliation with. He said, happy HIV awareness month, which is uh, offensive. I got perma for no reason. Deny no explanation. You TP titter base. It was kind of haha. No, to where I ain't. That's funny so far. You need attack speed to get stacks. I was Pudge. Grubby support play sucks. He's usually AFK half the game walking back and forward. <laughs> this was um, 31 May. Actually, when I played Grimstroke last night, I felt exactly this. I felt I'm sucking right now. I'm AFK half the game stacking ancients that my opponent may or may not steal. And I was walking back and forward. It was actually literally true. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's constructive feedback. I don't think it's that constructive. Is it though? From which I've heard Grubby 
<laughs> if that passes for constructive feedback in his family, I regret their dinner time. I regret everything that happened during dinner time. And after that, Grubby started playing Spirit Breaker and more active. Oh yeah, I remember actioning this a little bit. He's more happy. Others are more happy in his team. I see no reason why I get banned. He was playing very passively. I only pointed it out. Uh, thanks for the feedback. Thanks to you. I'm divine now. A little bit sarcastic, but hopefully he can see the joke in it. It's just a joke. Uh, banned four years ago. I don't know why I'm banned. Neither do I. <laughs> That's ironic. It's empty. It's empty. Your chat log was quite literally. Well, it's empty. Next. Oh, yeah. There was a period of time where I banned people that said literally griefing. I found it an annoying lexicon. Because I am not literally literally griefing. I almost reject this on a linguistic footing. It's like when people say it's literally raining cats and dogs. I almost feel driven to violence just because it is linguistically a bastardization of the language. Liger literally, figuratively raining very hard. I didn't mean it in a bad way. I thought you weren't taking the game seriously. Did it on purpose. Okay, fine. Okay. Screw in. I'm washing my hair. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. It's gonna dry it out. Do we even need shampoo? <laughs> okay. I don't know what happened here. Let's move on. You banned him? Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! You remember? All right. To offer some context, I was making a YouTube video, a two-on-two -two YouTube video. Hey, I'm playing a two-on-two. -two. And he started uh, talking during the game and directly interacting with me in the game. And I told him, hey, I can't chat right now. I'm recording a YouTube video and I'm speaking and whatnot. And then he kept talking and talking and talking and he derailed the game so much that it became valueless to continue because I cannot upload a game like that on YouTube where I am not taking the game seriously, they're not taking the game seriously and we're more spending time on him talking to me than even playing the game at all because that's not the content that I make for Twitch or YouTube. So I quit the game. Oh, and it was a custom game. It wasn't a ladder game. He was a volunteer from chat that joined and I was asking him to understand the, the content creation process of not taking up all my attention in dialogue and just allowing us to tell a story here and have a narrative for what we're doing here. And he just kept talking and talking. And I was like, okay, well, I can't do this. I have to find another volunteer. And then I also banned him on Twitch to punish him. But he's unbanned. <laughs> yeah, I remember now. What? Four years ago by me? Okay, he doesn't say in Yoi for Sky Sada. He says in Fury, in Fury, Archmage, Warcraft 3, in Fury, in Fury, Fura Sida. Yeah, it sounds something like that. For Sky Centaur. <laughs> I called you Noobhausen? I've been banned so long ago. I don't know, man. Where was I at this point in my life? I think this is when Reforged was announced. This was hot. This was eight months after Reforged got unveiled. Yeah, unbanned for sure. No problemo. Welcome back. Sorry for the four year purgatory. Hopeful time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you weren't mad at him. You were mad at Blizzard. Maybe because by July, I already had some misgivings. We were less than half an hour half an hour less than half a year away from the eventual release and not always looking well i may have i may have banned him because i can't ban blizzard and i needed something to punch 
In Fury for Star Sera. Ah, there we go. In Fury for Star Sera. Thanks, Hitori. This one? Oh, this one is infamous. <clears throat> Riders of the Night. Grubby Home Workout. Shame is just a word. Consider, you're overthinking. Haha, <laughs> fuck him, Grubby. I'm constipated. Why is he so mad? He's winning and he's mad. I'm racist. <laughs> I'm not racist, no! I'm banned. There's this uh, saying on Reddit. When someone tells you who they are, believe them. Though generally, it is not that literal. Generally, you have to read between the lines. But this time, there was no reading between the lines necessary. And let it be known that Grubby's chat is no place for racists. Even if self-reported. Denied. Why didn't you end the match? Grubby's team deserved to lose. They spawn camped instead of killing Ancient. Have you resisted to join the D4 bandwagon? Have you tried Abaddon support? Are you moving to Texas? Dota turns players into assholes. Airbnb is plummeting. How will you party on July 4th? Kill Spider. Your parents? Inform your parents that breeding is gay. Weird. That came out of nowhere. It's a bit absurd. Maybe context matters? Because it was a reply? Maybe he can explain it to me. If he makes me laugh with his joke. I'm not saying it's ground for permaban, but uh, I trust my mods generally until proven otherwise. And then I'll talk to them like people. I just want him to DM me. I need more info. But if I unban him, I'll never remember to follow up. There'll be no incentive for him to follow up. So for him to follow up, I need to keep the ban and then unban him personally later. Something me doing? Windriders, double double, espresso, Tom Hortons. I want socks without holes, which is fair. I wish wa I, I wish he can have socks without holes. He deserves it. I wish Wa would expand into space, become World of Starcraft. I'm a Plavlovian. Pavlovian octopus, which is nice. He will, he and the brains in his tentacles will work for crustaceans. Let's join Slothrop and f what? Whoa, he does not deserve socks without holes in them. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, he did say fight them. I, d I don't understand. I banned it because I was scared of it. He wants to fight them though. I just saw something scary and I banned it. I felt the comment was weird even if I didn't understand it. So I banned it. You seem fine for the rest and also I hope you can have Socks without holes one day. Alright. I unban him because you guys vouch for him. Why don't you play StarCraft 2 anymore? A very timely question, actually. Because I just uploaded a video on my YouTube that you should definitely sub to. Called uh, X StarCraft 2 Pro on why he quit StarCraft 2. While playing Swarmhost in Warcraft 3. So, uh, yeah. Why don't I play anymore, okay? You suck! Just trying to get some attention. Worked, didn't it? Proves it works. <laughs> uh, bruh. Just trying to get some attention or spark a reaction. You suck! Can I get a ban, please? Thanks. I don't care for your- Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I don't care for your Chanel. I don't care if I get unbanned. I'll give you an advice. Close your mouth when you play games. You look like a moron with that open mouth when you focus. 
I don't 100% disagree that someone, when their mouth is hanging open, looks less intelligent than when it's not. I think there is that bias. That's just, you don't think so? Look. It's kind of like this. You get this like zombie look a little bit. I think it is true, though his delivery needs improvement, but he can practice on someone else. I'm not taking back my ex just yet. I want him to get some experiences with other people. And maybe if he grows up, I'll let him into my house again. Denied. No explanation given. The thing is, I can't change it and I don't care, right? And I think people that say it in that manner are rude. So ban. Are you live? Oh my God, is that Shadow Fiend? Are you live? Are you live or is it a rerun? Is this a rerun? Are you live? Dear Grubby, my brother was banned. He was crying about the ban. So unfair, really loves you. Why was I banned? Next. Why Dutch have zero interest in tasty food? Eating bread and cheese for lunch? Really, you can do better. I actually agree with this and I'm upset about this. I had choice of three high schools. One high school that was dual bilingual, right? Dutch and English, half subjects in English, half in Dutch. Why English? To prepare you for an international career. A lot of my classmates, this is the one I ended up going to, spoiler. One of my a lot of my classmates, they went to do international business, university and so on. I went on an international Warcraft 3 journey. Still useful. Three high schools. One with the international baccalaureate, the bilingual English. But no food outside of bread, milk and cheese. Legit. Their canteen had those white, sterile, even worse than McDonald's, white burger buns with one slice of cold cut cheese, hyper processed plastic cheese stuff. And then you could get a glass of milk. That's it, right? Nothing else. Where are my croquette, my fricandelle, Mexicanos, French fries, pizza? Hell, what about nice balanced food? Where's my chop suey, chop suey, egg, tomato, omu rice, steak, etc. dinner? Nothing. Just cold cut cheese, white bread. and. So I agree that uh, that was very sad. And another school did have a canteen with a selection of hot food. So what did I have to do? Every break, recess during school, I have to go to the nearby cafeteria and order french fries with peanut sauce. So I agree that good food is fairly low on the priority list. Now, of course, the Netherlands, it's a relatively cold, temperate climate with... Um, and, and it's not so easy to grow a lot of spices here. Of course, we're doing more now with greenhouses, but tomatoes from the Netherlands... You know, a lot worse than tomatoes from Turkey or Greece. And we don't grow chili peppers very easily because they die in winter unless you invest a lot of energy keeping them alive. So yeah, I think food in Malaysia is better, but they also have better land and climate for it. And it's not true that Dutch have zero interest in tasty food. But I will say that Dutch cuisine, for someone that is used to eating Asian, is a little bit more of a boring palate usually. But we got a couple of good dishes. I would kill for some, I would metaphorically, figuratively not hurt, harm anyone, but I would definitely go through mild inconveniences to have a good uh, split pea soup, erte soup. You would literally kill for that? Yeah, good save. Thanks. Krabby, do you like men? Yeah, I like men. Uh, a lot of my good friends are men. Uh, a lot of good gamers are men. Yeah, I, uh, there's a lot of good comedians, all kinds of people, a lot of good men out there. It's true. Have you farted recently to smell Frikandel? I moment, easy win. Play Dota, bro. What the fuck is this stupid dog shit game? And he got double timed. Sorry. Wow, that escalated quickly. <laughs> if it's not Dota, it's dog shit. I got taught as a kid 
that if you have a fight with someone, you should say sorry. Most adults, when I grew up, my direct adults, my family adults that were my parents and other adults typically counseled a say sorry. And this is, of course, very developmentally stunted advice. I apologize for what harm did they cause? Sorry for shitting on your hobby. I don't like it and I want Dota. But I understand it was obnoxious. That's something that you apparently like to do. Otherwise, why would you be doing it? That I shit on it and there's a time and place to share opinions and there's a method to share opinions and maybe not that harsh. I know it was annoying. I don't normally do it. Can I come back? Yeah, no problem. Sorry? Fuck off. Next. <clears throat> you guys don't have damage to hit the tower. Control the map. Lamau 3 to 2. Hit tower. Lamau, use PKB and jump. PKB first after you use your dagger. You'll stay in 4k for a long time. Good lucky. How this guy have 4.5? Fuck you, bro. You'll stay in 4k forever, you fucking trash. Why you ban me for nothing, you fruitcake? <laughs> I call these kind of bans prophetic bans. Not all my moderators, but some moderators have the power of prophecy and clairvoyance. They may have banned that seemed in the time to be out of proportion. But with the benefit of hindsight and the future of it, it turned out that it was right all along. It's like stopping a murderer before their first death, before the first kill. So this is a very good ban. A common candy bombers W. He's an oracle. Minority report. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is a minority report ban. Let's see if he gets the reference. He seems clever. Waiting for PA Dota Grubby. Phantom Assassin. PA Phantom Assassin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. <laughs> it could happen to anyone. No? <laughs> It could happen to... And he did ask about my dog in a seeming uh, caring way. Plus, yeah, it's hard to copy paste with just one hand. He was getting ready. He was almost ready off of my stream already, but he just needed that little bit extra to finish. So he typed... He did control V, but he forgot to alt top because... You know why. <clears throat> Next, Phylactery Barra, Spectre died, 17 is 100, Octarine Imba. Right. <clears throat> My bad. I live in C. It's 2 a.m. and Grubby starts stream. I'm watching from my mobile phone and I slept during stream. And unfortunately, my body pressed on my phone and typed something nonsense. Yeah, I can see that happening. <laughs> it's pretty relatable. I don't know how many times I woke up, either with uh, some mobile game or a stream open, still on when I woke up seven hours later, burning a hole in my mattress because it's so hot. 1% battery and a message from my provider that I've reached my data limit. I've almost reached it. I've exceeded it. And they've cut me off at 150 euros of mobile data excess uh, data spent. Luckily, they cut you off at 150 euros now. Ten years ago, they just let you go and die. <laughs> Load previous? Yeah. <clears throat> this guy is not interested in talking to anyone. Not to me, not to you. He's only talking to Dota bot. <laughs> okay. He was checking if I have nudes. Understandable. Oh, but it, he was trolling. <clears throat> so, next, right, okay. All right, this is another 
great learning moment. I want to let you know that this emote is okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Nor with Tryhard, nor Keikona, nor anything. This message is also okay. God is great. Freedom of religion, right? I respect people's religion, mostly. But context matters. This is also okay. This is okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. This one is not okay. And this is okay. So he really misfired, no pun intended, once. Read top? Oh. Oh. Expired and not posted to chat. Oh, so he must have thought this one didn't make it. It can't incriminate him. <clears throat> Sorry. Is he? If you write a 20 word essay on what went wrong prior to the ban, I will consider unbanning. You had two problematic messages. Next. Any tips for new Warcraft streamers? Super hard getting any views. Grubby is our man. I also stream Warcraft 3. Can we play together? Yeah. I respect. I understand it's hard to grow as a streamer. And I think he was trying to get a little. A little some some. little schmoozing. I get it. He was trying to get a little schmoozing. And uh, start for his stream. I can also say that it's hard enough for me to promote anything. Like, if I get people to sub to my grub. If I try to get people to install a mobile game, right? It doesn't have that much traction for the best of things. Maybe for like really popular things that people actually want, yeah. But generally people are relatively resistant to advertising and recommendations. I can say that if I let people do this, it pretty much wouldn't make a difference for them. Because viewers also have a brain. And when they see this, they also think, oh, look, he's just advertising in another channel. They have an opinion on that. Right? Now, if there's some cool hook, we know something about them. They did something funny on stream. Or we have some kind of story about them. Then I think it might actually work. So even if we did allow it, and advertising other channels is kind of cringe. It uh, it wouldn't do much or anything, I think. Low conversion rate. But he said he won't do it. And that's good enough. That's much better than just saying sorry. Like, he's like, okay, you know, I won't do that. Fine, no problem. And I do hope that he can grow his stream. Lonsdale underscore the great. Let's get him some follows, guys. Next. Sam Vida. What rank is he now? Noob guy needs to go back to Warcraft 3. Feeding. This was uh, last month. I wasn't noob last month. This time last month I was divine. That makes me better than 98% of the Dota players. And Dota players at its peak simultaneous had 1.2 million players. That's just at the peak. It means there are probably 5 to 10 million players that have played Dota 2 worldwide. And I'm better statistically than 98%. I'm still bad, I agree, but to send me back to Warcraft because I'm not good enough, then how do you even improve? They call pros noob, don't worry. I know, they call TI winners noobs. I denied this until I see the unbanned request message. I like... Oh, okay, let's read it. First ban ever, I have repented. My sins, I'll play nice. <laughs> how do you think he repented his sins? Like, how should I visualize that? With a whip? <laughs> <laughs> Self-flagellating. He went to church. Uh, he prayed it away. He turned over a new page in his life. A new Sam Vida. Wow. Okay. Okay, thanks for confessing. Unbanned. Next, the Pawnerer. Who banned him? Candy. The Oracle. War 3, let's go. I pawn noobs. I just call it a shithole. Oh, we were talking about San Francisco. Can I please be unbanned? I said I call San Fran a shithole as a joke. I didn't realize it would be taken too serious. Oh, I, I feel sorry that he's so sorry. Yeah, it's Jeremy, the pawnerer. He sounds sincere, and I feel sorry that we banned him. Uh, no problem. I mean, I don't think he should ever have been banned. 
before this. He's right. <laughs> Is he? I would have never banned him for this. But every mult is an individual. I live near SF. He's not wrong. <laughs> it's totally a shithole. Maybe Candy Bombers is from San Fran and felt offended. Next. Can anyone explain to me what exactly is the difference between this game and CSGO? It looks and sounds the same. Oh, this must be Counter-Strike 2. Thank you for telling me the truth. You need to buy refresher and send your ultimate and watch the dog kill them. Why you skill spell before first blood, nob? Let's go, 1v1, any hero. I smash you into the ground, loser. Well, that's good, because if it was too tight, then I wouldn't be able to get out of it. But loose soil. It's okay. I am a better man today. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could judge if he is. I've seen enough. Have a good day. Denied. Next. Will you play Warcraft 3 today, Grubby? I'm a hunt Grubby later. Hey yo, unban. Yeah, I banned him because he was proudly stating he's gonna stream snipe me. It <laughs> looks like I misclicked again. <laughs> The 13 day ban. This time I went for the two two shots. I don't know. I don't like pe people that are like stream sniping and then proudly stating it and then saying it like it's significant and cool and stuff. And most likely I'm assuming when they're like that, and maybe this is an unfair bias, I feel like they're going to leave the stream open. They're not just sniping the queue and trying to meet me, which is mostly okay if you don't overdo it. There was one guy recently that was in 90% of my games over weeks. And I'm like, give me some space, you know, let me play a couple of games without you. I didn't mind that he's sniping the queue sometimes, but when he's in 90% of the games, I feel like it gets a bit awkward, like a forced friendship or forced rivalry or whatever. Again, he can do it. I nicely asked him to stop explaining. He respected it and said he'll do it less. In fact, he hasn't done it since. I don't know if I should unban or deny. What do you think, chat? I don't know. Roll dice. Okay, let's roll dice. I see more unban. I see more deny in chat. I'm gonna roll a d20, but he needs to roll 15 or higher. He would have won the coin flip. Failed the DC 15. Your toxic Dota player, imagine ban something for saying you're toxic. There's actually a wicked kind of logic here, isn't it? Because if I ban him, that's a toxic thing. So either he's right and suppressed for speaking truth to power, or I fulfill the prophecy by banning and denying, which is an evil thing to do inherently. So he's right. He's already won. And he has caught me in his trap. Except, it was built on a false premise. Banning is not toxic when you ban people that are shitters. And I don't think I'm a toxic Dota player. Even if, sometimes, I'm not Mother Teresa, Holy Angel, Baby Jesus. Everything is relative. And you all know that even if I did one or two things, like when I needled that Pudge about missing all his hooks, I only did that because he started flaming me first and said he wanted to fight me in real life. And he's a pudge, so he deserves a bit of abuse. And I only laughed that he missed his hooks all the time. And then when he finally hit one, it was on a telegraphed creep in vision. Even if that's my worst toxicity, and it is less than angelic, everything is relative. And if you consider the player base at, whole, at large, I am an angel, not literally. Figuratively. <laughs> so, I'm not a toxic player. Two false premises. Denied. Next. Those that are supposed to be in my D2 resurrected race stop being addicted to the streamer. Come, you got an appointment. Sexy vegan. 
We're all big Grubby fans, me and the guy I was talking to, but we were hosting a live event on Twitch and some guy was AFK watching your stream, so it was the best place to find him. Is that really permaban worthy? Using my chat as a vessel to facilitate interpersonal relations between two people that are supposedly friends and could just pick up the phone is an okay thing. I would be hypocritical if I didn't say it's okay because my wife has had to find me in my own Twitch chat multiple times to open the door which I locked from the inside without the ability to get in after she went out to see friends. My phone was on D&D. I get it. It's a good place to find me. <laughs> so I understand where he's coming from and it is not permaban worthy or I would be sleeping on the couch. So I get it. I think it looked like promotion of another activity, but now that he explained it, I get it. Now that you explained it, I get it. Good luck with your events and thanks for watching my stream, sexy vegan. You sexy vegan, you. Justice has been served. There were some really bad bands in there, but there were some really good bands in there as well. And with that, I do believe we have succeeded to make this the 17, the top 1700 best chats on Twitch. Wouldn't you agree, chat? At least top 1700. Yeah, I think so. So I welcome you to it on twitch.tv slash grubby. And maybe we'll all learn a little bit more about games and communication. See you next time. Thanks for watching.